Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm Women's Officer, Trustee to the Union and US Delegate, Co-Founder of Agenda, and I sit on the School's Equality and Diversity Committee and Public Sectors and Equality Board. And these are experiences that I feel have given me an in-depth and nuanced understanding of the school and union's internal governance structure. So, what have I done? I've worked tirelessly and often to the detriment of my degree to create the Co-President Liberation Coordinator, Coordinator, the Working Class Officer, and you'll see them speak later, um, an online anonymous harassment procedure, Women's History Month, the Women in Education series, Women's Support Group, Liberation in the Elections, created the Community Accountability Group, and I've been a core cool member of Just Schooners for four years. <laughs> but more important than that, what do I want to do? So with education, I really, really believe that there are a certain set of normative ideals that education is structured around. And failure to meet those ideals is, is understood as so-called academic failure. And, and this is always exceptionalised and is understood as individual fault rather than precipitated by structures of inequality, oppression and bias. And this is exemplified in the attainment gaps. BME students entering SARS with, this, with the same grades as white students are 13.7% le less likely to achieve a first. The gender gap is 5.7% negatively affecting women and the dropout rate for students with disabilities is 22 percent to tackle this i will institute anonymous uh, unconscious bias training institute mandatory mandatory equality and diversity training because it's currently optional continue and extend mentoring programs and demand that policy and paperwork are not enough the school must do more another way that i want to fight for liberation in education is through part-time degrees it is so unreasonable and exclusionary to expect parents and carers, students with disabilities, including mental health issues, working class students, to be able to commit to full-time degrees. I will push for alternative forms of assess assessment, course content in an available range of formats, and fight against the cap on uh, postgraduate students' marks. Um, desperate changes needed to the mitigating circumstances and I will fight for an accountable and transparent process. I will improve the information given to year abroad students before they go, support them with visas and include them in union democratic procedures. I will continue to oppose the presence of the UK BA and counter-terrorism squads and work to ensure that international students are being properly supported and represented in regards to visas as well. I will lobby this school to provide adequate childcare and care support and continue regular forums and socials. I will work to create a system of participatory budgeting, which is a tactic for financial and political decentralisation, we, where we set aside union funds um, for an open group to decide how they are spent. I believe that this would encourage a process of direct democracy and wider participation within one of the union's core functions. UG UGMs are often confrontational, divisive and inaccessible in their format, location, time and atmosphere. I will work to reaffirm the zero tolerance to harassment policy, host UGMs in physically accessible rooms, formalise a rep system um, and yeah. I will continue, the continue with the democratised SARS campaign. I will push for greater representation and autonomy within the governing procedures. Education is not a marketable commodity. The school must be run for and by and in the interest of the lecturers and, and students and staff that make it. I am committed to creating an open, accountable and self-critical union. I believe that for the union to truly operate at its best, democratic processes must be localised, decentralised and accessible time, to you. Time, time. <laughs>